everyone, it's Amy from Sammy Sweet Life and today I am talking about the Peloton Bike Plus. I have actually had this bike now for over two years and I've been putting off doing this review video because there's really not a whole lot to say. I love the bike, I think it's great. I think the bike pretty much looks brand new except some dust here and there, but I haven't had any sort of issues with the bike whatsoever. No wear and tear issues, no weirdness about the bike, no repairs, no nothing. So it's really hard for me to like have enough information to just make an entire video on it because the bike is perfect. It's working just like when I first bought it over two years ago. It still looks practically new aside from the dust here and there. And I do wipe it down with alcohol-free baby wipes occasionally. I just get like the free and clear type of baby wipes and yeah I don't have anything bad to say about it at all if you are interested in getting a bike or a bike plus I say go for it I've talked quite a few people into getting them and I think Peloton in general is about more than just the bike it's about all of the other classes that you get along with the subscription and you can just use any other bike and just use the app you won't get all the metrics on the bike like you do on the actual Peloton bikes but you can definitely get away with doing that and I think the gold for the Peloton really comes in with the coaching. I think the coaches are great. I think the coaching is amazing. That's what really sets Peloton apart from other things. Yes, my bike is great and it still works just like new, but the bike isn't the most amazing thing about Peloton. The most amazing thing is the instructor. So I definitely recommend if you're interested in getting a Peloton bike to just trying the app for a little while. I'm pretty sure they have a 30 day free trial on the app. The app itself is just really nice, really intuitive. And that's how I started this whole journey. I actually started with the Apple Watch. So I ended up having an Apple Watch and Apple started Apple Fitness and their thing has coaching and stuff and I'm like oh it's a new thing I'm gonna make a video about it so I tried that out for 30 days and all while I was doing that my best friend is like you know I kind of really want a Peloton like try out the Peloton stuff and so I'm like okay to be fair I'll do 30 days of the Peloton app and I fell in love but I was hooked on the Apple Fitness I got really hooked on the Peloton app and this is way over two years now. Coming up this fall, it will have been three years since I did the fitness challenge, um, but I couldn't believe how much I loved the coaching, how much I liked the app itself, and I got myself a bike. About six months later, I got the bike and then now we're over two years later from that point. So it all started with the app itself. I just think that's gold. So if you're interested in anything Peloton related, try out that app and see if it's for you. I love, love, love the bike. There's a lot of different things you can do as classes as well. You can take the classes with the instructor. You can also play the game called Lane Break. You can also just ride to scenic rides. So they'll be like in Hawaii or in different places. And you just kind of watch the scenery as you ride on the bike. And also now they're starting a beta program where you can also do streaming on the bike. So they've got various different streaming apps. So you can watch like YouTube TV or something like that and watch from your bike. Now I ended up putting a TV in my room finally and then like a day later they announced this streaming app so I really don't need the TV so much anymore. Once they get the streaming all working when I don't feel like really pedaling all that much or paying attention to cues or anything and I just want to pedal like just for the sake of getting some exercise in, getting some movement in, I just pop stuff on the TV and watch that and just pedal kind of leisurely so you can use it any way you want to use it. You can do the hardcore classes and really pedal and get up out of the saddle and do all the things. There's also power zone, which if you're trying to build up your endurance, even for other sports or other events, or you just wanna get stronger, that's a great way to do it. You can take the power zone related classes and there's a whole website dedicated to power zone. And then there's also these quarterly challenges every quarter where you pledge to ride a bunch certain weekend and everybody in the Pelafondo group is doing the same thing as you. So it's a really fun thing to do with everybody. And you can find that also on its own website as well. So I'll link to resources down below, but there is just so much involved in Peloton. So I really think it's something where you can find something that you're going to enjoy, even if it is something on the app and not actually on the bike. I personally happen to really just love my bike. I feel like that just brought my Peloton obsession to a whole new level. And I still, I'm too almost three years into my Peloton obsession and I still love Peloton. And usually I'm wearing Peloton gear. I have Peloton shorts on right now, but actually I made this shirt. <laughs> so usually I'm wearing Peloton gear, like basically head to toe. My scrunchies are Peloton. I have some socks even that are Peloton. So I just 
wear all of my pillow gear pretty much all the time and I'm just obsessed. I still love my bike. I love the coaches. I feel like you get people that are like diehard fans of certain coaches and I am that way for Bradley Rose. I just absolutely love him. I love his motivation. He's just the perfect mix of goofy and quirky so it makes it fun and also motivational and pushing so he can really motivate me and also make me forget that I'm actually working really hard because he does have that lighthearted quirkiness to it as well. So I find him to be the perfect balance of hard work and fun as well. Um, so yeah, you can find an instructor that really resonates with you. There are instructor like Facebook fan groups. So you can always find your little group of people to ride with. And it's just been really fun. Like I have real life friends who I ride my bike with. We'll like set a day and set a time and we'll all get on the bike and ride together. And that's been really fun as well. It's not just like people on the internet. It can be people in real life too. And it's just been something that's been life-changing for me. I never was a workout person. I was active in high school. I did some rec sports and things, but as an adult, I have not been active at all. So this is like a totally life-changing thing for me to find Peloton and fall in love with it and be able to share it on this channel. I do a video called Pelo Chat every week and I talk about my Peloton experiences. I talk about health and fitness and that kind of thing. I talk about what news is happening with Peloton. So if you're seeing this video and you want more Pelo stuff, definitely check back on Fridays because I have those videos come up pretty much every Friday where I talk Peloton because I just love it so much. So I just wanted to share this with you guys because I've been long overdue to make this two year update. There's really not a whole lot to say about the bike itself. It's great. Like it just, it looks just like it did when I first got it aside from like fingerprint smudges on the screen and the occasional dust collecting up here and there, but it's just, it works great. It still just works just like brand new. And there's not a whole lot I can say as far as the bike itself, except I love it. It's just a really well-made piece of machinery and I don't have a single complaint about the bike. It's working just like it's supposed to, which is what you want to know in these kind of videos. Like two years in, it still works just like it did on day one. I'll add this back in, but I want to go ahead and add up the mileage too. I've gotten, I think probably around 3000 miles. I might be off by a little bit, but I know I for sure have gotten over 2000 something miles and I'm working on another thousand. So I will insert the amount right below. I know I've gotten a lot of miles on the bike in the two years I've had it. So I feel like it's a really good testament to how well these bikes stand up. I just totally forgot to mention it in the video. I hadn't written it down that I was gonna track the mileage. So I'm gonna calculate it on the bike screen itself and then I will insert that in this part of the video. I just wanna make sure that you guys know how many miles I put on this bike and it still looks brand new. All right, so editing Sammy, I'm editing that video and I had made the clip of me wanting to calculate my mileage and it's a really cool little thing on the bike itself. If you go under your profile and calendar, you can see your month at a glance. So it tells you all this information, your active days. This is the blue circle that I love getting every single day. And it gives you your bike distance. So I went back and went through all of the months since I first got the bike. And every month it tells you that bike distance. So that's where I'm getting my number from. And it was over 3,000, which I was super happy about. I've had quite a few like rough months. You can see this was after my little uh, procedure. I had it in October, so like my mileage went way down at the end of October for a few months, like recovering. So those were some rough months, but I was surprised some of these months were really high. Like September 2022, I hit 300 miles for the month, which is really good. And I've got quite a few months that are in the 200s, like low 200s, but still in the 200s. So that's where I got all these miles from. It's like just going and scanning through this and I ended up getting my bike May 2021. I'm just flipping through, showing you guys all the mileage and I was super excited to see some of those 200 mile things. And yeah, this is like when I got some sort of like coughing fit thing where I'm just, you know, coughing forever. It seems like weeks, some years we get those little coughing colds that are just, they last forever and ever. So I didn't get a whole lot of mileage a couple of those months. So yeah, look at these. Going all the way back. Oops, I don't know if that showed that one, but you can add them up. It's it's there. It's legit. <laughs> Come on, buddy. There we go. In July. And I got my bike end of May 2021. So there's my first month. This was like, this is different classes. I'm taking no bikes until May. So that was my first month, the 
the bike. May 2021. That's basically it. This could have been like a two second update. Like, yeah, the bike's just like new <laughs> two years later. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you can follow me along for my pillow chat goodness. And I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.